He developed a reputation for being the Europa League's custodian, but at the moment he's turning Aston Villa into dark horses for the Premier League title. Unai Emery might be making waves as a manager, but his crazy lifestyle is even more shocking than his exploits with Villa. How does he spend his millions, and what really goes on behind the scenes? Unai Emery Echegoyen was born on the 3rd of November 1971 in Onda Spain. Growing up in a family with a strong football background, it was easy for young Emery to fall in love with the game. His father and his grandfather were both goalkeepers, and his uncle was a midfielder. Literally everyone in the family was killing it on the pitch, but Emery's love for football didn't stop him from finishing high school, and as you would guess, his youth career got off to a late start. Emery had a super short youth career at Real Sociedad, which lasted only four years, from when he was 16 years old until he turned 20. He played as a midfielder, but was never really able to break into the first team. At 24 years old, he had only five La Liga appearances to his name, as he mostly played for the B team. Afterward, his career mostly revolved around the Segunda División, where he played over 200 matches across seven seasons. Emery played for Toledo, Racing Ferrol, Leganes, and Lorca Deportiva before retiring at the age of 32, no thanks to a devastating knee injury. Forced into a painful end to his career, Emery was offered a managerial role at Lorca Deportiva, and he immediately helped the club achieve promotion to the second division for the first time in its history. Something similar happened in Almeria, which happened to be Emery's next club in Division 2, as they secured their first ever promotion in 2007. The following season, Emery moved to Valencia, where he replaced Ronald Koeman as coach. The Spaniards spent the next four seasons helping Valencia to become a constant presence in Europe. He then had a short stint at Spartak Moscow before moving to Sevilla. It was at the club that Emery would announce himself as the king of the Europa League, winning three consecutive titles between 2014 and 2060. He then parted ways with Sevilla, moving to PSG. Although the legendary coach saw domestic success, it was the exact opposite with underwhelming performances in European football. After two average seasons in France, Emery was disappointed as Arsenal's coach in May 2018, but was sacked toward the end of 2019 following underwhelming results. Many people felt like Emery wasn't given as much time as Mikel Arteta to turn Arsenal's fortunes around. Going back to Spain, Emery saw some redemption as he held Villarreal to a Europa League title and a semi-final spot in the UEFA Champions League. Although he rejected Newcastle's offer to come back to the Premier League in 2021, he accepted Aston Villa's offer the following year, and we already know how that has played out. Villa paid a buyout fee of 6 million euros for Emery's services, and in less than a year, he has transformed the club from a relegation fight to the possibility of European football. But let's pump the brakes on football just a little bit and see what is really going on elsewhere. Emery is married to Luisa Fernandez, who was born in Malaga. According to Spanish sources, the couple met in Madrid at a restaurant where Luisa once worked. Emery was enjoying dinner with some friends who happened to know Luisa. They were introduced to each other and it was love at first sight for Emery and Luisa. Before getting married, Luisa worked in a consultancy firm in Madrid but quit her job to focus on her family life. The couple got married in 1998 in a private ceremony, which means they've been together for more than 25 years. Emery and Luisa have a son who was a youth goalkeeper for Valencia at some point. Football surely runs in Emery's genes. On a personal note, Unai Emery spends his free time playing squash and tennis. At Sevilla, he was widely known for taking his players for a set or two, helping them to relax during football breaks. The Aston Villa manager has been described as a workaholic and someone who could spend lots of hours studying videos of opponents. Former Spanish winger Joaquin once said that Emery was obsessed with football, up to the point where it was an illness for him. He doesn't just watch opponents' videos himself, he forces his players to do the same. It doesn't get any crazier than that. But one thing you probably didn't know about Emery is that he is a published author. In between his managerial career, he found time to write a book about his managerial success, which he published in 2012. Being a workaholic doesn't mean that Emery doesn't find time to enjoy himself and travel to exotic locations like other sports stars, but what exactly does he spend his money on? Emery has a couple of vehicles in his garage, but one of the more popular ones is his Alfa Romeo Stelvio. The vehicle costs upwards of 50,000 pounds and is made by renowned German car manufacturers. The Stelvio was originally launched in 2017, but has since undergone facelifts to keep up with the competition from fellow German car makers BMW and Audi. You've got two engine options for the Stelvio. The first one's a 276 brake horsepower, 295 pound foot, four cylinder petrol, the same one used in the Guilia. 
Even though the Stelvio is a bit heavier thanks to its four-wheel drive, it matches the Guilia Sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. You've also got a 2.2 liter diesel option, great for folks after better fuel efficiency on long hauls or needing that extra towing power. Packing 207 brake horsepower and a whopping 345 pound-feet of torque, it is no slouch when it comes to performance either. The 8-speed automatic 4-wheel drive Stelvio SUV is no doubt a decent choice even though it might not be the flashiest. A few years back, Unai Emery revealed that he offered Mikel Arteta the chance to buy his London house while the Spaniard was about to replace him at Arsenal. In the end, it was another player who would buy it rather than Arteta. The details of Emery's Birmingham house are not known, but we believe that his choice will be a classy one. But just how was Emery able to afford a luxury life? The Spaniard currently earns around £5 million at the Midlands Club. At 52 years of age, Emery has earned a fortune thanks to his superb managerial skills. At the moment, we estimate his net worth to be close to $20 million. Considering that more lucrative offers might be on the line, we won't be totally surprised if we see a significant change in the coming years. Emery recently had headlines after he snubbed the entire coaching staff at Arsenal following Villa's 1-0 win over the Gunners. Speaking in his post-match conference, Emery clarified his actions, stating that Mikel Arteta's absence from the dugout was the reason why he didn't shake hands with anyone. But are you buying that? Do you think that Emery still has something personal against Arsenal, seeing what some people might call a lack of respect during his time at the club? Before now, Emery had a notorious reputation for being an overachiever in Spain, but underperforming elsewhere. However, his stint at Aston Villa has debunked that myth. But here's something you probably didn't know about the Spaniard. Unai Emery's grandfather conceded the first ever La Liga goal. Back in 1929 when La Liga was launched, the inaugural match was Espanyol versus Real Union Irún on February 10. Interestingly, Antonio Emery, Unai's grandfather, was remarkably the Irún goalkeeper that was between the sticks that day, and he conceded the first goal. In July 2021, the Emery family completed a takeover of Real Union. His brother Igor became the club president. But did you also know that Emery once showed his squad in Almeria that he trusted them no matter which 11 started the match? To prove this point, Emery rolled the dice to determine his lineup. It ended up working as the Andalusians won 3 0 on the day, making the perfect start to their top flight history. Having created one of the most compelling stories that we have seen in recent years with Aston Villa, Unai Emery's Premier League redemption has made doubters look a little foolish because he has now built what might be Aston Villa's best team in 40 years. But how far do you see the villains going this season? Do you reckon that they'll qualify for the Champions League, or do you have other ideas?